Have you wondered ever? why you're wearing the same outfit you wore last week? It's part two of last week's video. Oh, well then, don't you mean... No. Two? I, I think I'm pretty fine by myself. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I've got it. No problem. I'll just show up for the important parts. Have you ever gotten to an argument with someone or a debate and they say something to you and you just can't think of anything to say back in the moment? And then of course, five minutes later when you're doing something else, you come up with the perfect thing to say? Well, last time we talked about all the different things that people can just throw around saying about as to why college is not worth it and you don't need to waste your money or your time. This time, I'm ready. And because I'm ready, you're gonna be ready with the perfect thing to say the next time someone comes and tells you that college isn't worth it. I'm going to give you six, six things that you can say back to them or that you can say to yourself because sometimes we need a little encouragement. Coming right up next. So let's get ready to rumble! rumble. Hi, you're watching Journey with Jordana, helping you take the next step in your journey towards your future. Come on in, take a seat. Much credit goes to ProCon.org, a website that does a fabulous job of outlining the pros and cons of any controversial topic. I won't bore you with a whole bunch of facts, though you do want the facts, don't you? I mean, you wouldn't just believe what I'm saying just because I said it. Well, technically it wouldn't be just you because I, I agree. <laughs> the facts I agree. are so I'm saying it too. in the description box. In no particular order, clap back number six, clap back number six. Reason number six for attending college. College is worth it because it's the most common and basic way that employers screen applicants. No, no, no. Yes, help wanted. College degree needed. Yes, hiring. College degree needed. Ha, <laughs> parking attendant. College degree needed? Yep, for employers, a college degree seems to imply that the applicant had the discipline to be able to finish their degree. And discipline is a pretty important skill in the employment world. Even those jobs that in the past didn't require a degree are now requiring a degree. Ooh, I see a palm print on that one. A palm print. Clap back number five, clap back number five. Reason number five. You know that old adage, it's not what you know, it's who you know? It still holds true. In college, you can make diverse friends and potentially some enchanted evening. You will meet a mate across a crowded room. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> but you might. At college, you might find and just as important, according to Harvard Business School, 65 to 85% of jobs are found through networking. College students can join fraternities, sororities, teams, clubs, as well as participate in social activities that allow them to meet other new people, allow them to meet alumni, allow them to network and get jobs. It is all about who you know. Ooh, you came in swinging with that one. Woo! Watch out. I've got it. Clap back. Clap back. Yeah. Clap back. That's clap back. That's just embarrassing. Number four. Clap back. Number four. You'll make more money and you're less likely to be unemployed. According to a Pew Research Center study, high school graduates earn only 62% of what four-year-old college graduates earn. In April 2013, the unemployment rate for college graduates over 25 was only 3.6 compared to the unemployment rate for the high school graduates, and that was 7.5. Yeah, they're going down. They're going down. Hit them with another one. Hit them with another one. With clap, clap, clapping back. Yes, they'll clap shut when they hear these facts. Clap back number three. 
more college graduates are happily employed. College graduates are more likely to receive more on-the-job training, more technology, more ability to enhance their skills, and more autonomy, meaning less micromanaging, than high school graduates. Oh, they're not coming back from that. Hey, it's a clap back. It's a clap back. It's a clap back, number two. College isn't just for jobs. It opens your minds and expands your perspective. College students get to learn about and appreciate different cultures, opinions, ideas, religions, old and new that they probably never would have been exposed to otherwise. We've been hearing a lot about fake news and alternative facts. Well, college will prepare you to be a critical thinker so that you're able to accurately assess data and access sources of information so that you can be a productive citizen. You gave him a black eye with that one. Oh, you like a Pokemon. They come for you, but you're not the one. Counter attacking, then 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 now hit him with black back number one. Why is college worth it? Because it's worth it, literally, in dollars and cents. Researchers analyzed salary data from over 145,000 entry-level positions from over 700 organizations. And the data came out to be that for 2017 graduates, on average, their salary would be $49,785. If you want to get that starting salary, you would need a college degree. Now, worst case scenario, let's say you weren't eligible for any financial aid, uh, you didn't apply for any scholarships, you took that all out in loans. What would that look like? Could you pay that back? Would that be affordable? Let's take a look at the loan calculator. It's all up to you. The point is to just inform yourself and make a plan. Make as many plans for as many different lifestyles as you want. Consider from now. If you plan to go into mission or work for a nonprofit, you may have to delay to pay off your student loans or depending on your planning, you might not have to wait at all because you might get your loans forgiven. Just play around a bit so that you can get an idea with what you'll be dealing with. At the end of the day, there's only one question that matters. Is college worth it for you? But don't be deceived. It's not the only way. If your intended career requires professional certification or a certificate, go for it. Go for it. Whether it be at a community college or a for-profit college, just as long as you complete it. It can be your entryway into the middle class if you graduate. Don't let what other people say determine your path. Don't feel pressure to go for a degree that doesn't lead you to the career that you want. Don't go to college just because everyone else is doing it. It has to be worth it to you. I wanna know your career plans and I wanna know if you feel like college is worth it for you. Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you can see how you can take your next step in your financial plan for college. And remember, you don't have to have it all together today. Life is a journey and I'm here with you. So subscribe, click that notification bell and you'll be alerted the next time a video is posted that can help you take your next step. Thanks for watching Journey with Jordana. Oh, and don't forget, friends don't let friends drive drunk or stress out about the future. So, share. Wait, I posted a real clapback on Instagram and Facebook, so check that out at Journey with Jordana. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs>